Welcome into the Greater Texas Ford Dealers inaugural Female Athlete of the Month. From Big Spring to Amarillo, Burke Burnett to Midland, Carthage to La Mesa, Stanton to Mineola, and many points in between. We celebrate the remarkable achievements of female high school athletes based on performances on and off the field and courts. From Class 6A to private schools, it's the Greater Texas Four Dealers Female Athlete of the Month. Joining me now, the queen of all of Class 1A, the one and only Maddie Dollar of Newcastle High School, who's never a dollar short when it comes to being a world-class athlete. She's the Greater Texas Four Dealers Female Athlete of the Month. Well, a big congratulations there, Maddie. What did you think when you heard that you were the best in Texas? Honestly, I was really surprised. I had no clue like I was even nominated or anything. Well, we know you're so good on the court and off of the court, and you're such a tremendous leader. How do you pull that off being such a big star on your team and able to push your teammates at the same time? I think I hold myself to a really high standard, and I think that makes our whole team want to hold ourselves higher and want to reach for the next level. Well, it's not surprising that you're a good basketball player and an amazing leader because your dad is the head coach. Uh, talk <laughs> about the dynamics of all that and how much has he meant to you in your basketball career? He's meant so much to me. He's been my coach for so long, and he has a big part of me becoming the player I've become because he always pushes me to be my best, and he's always there for me and believes in me. Does he ever let you run the huddle? Because, you know, you're you're kind of like an extra coach out there for him. Um, He always says I'm like an extra coach on the court, so that really helps him to be able to relay the message to all the other players. What a year you guys have had at Newcastle. I mean, you're riding a 27-game winning streak into the playoffs, ranked number two in the state. What do you think separates your team from everybody else? I think all of us are just really connected on and off of the court. So there's no drama on the team. We all love each other so much, and we're all doing it for each other and not for ourselves. Well, your dad is looking like a genius because this is just his first year at Newcastle. The two of you came over from Martin's Mill, another basketball powerhouse. How do you think he's been able to kind of flip the script and change the culture so fast there? I think um, it really helped that all of the girls believed in him and both of us when we first got here. And they weren't questionable about anything. And they really helped our whole did, team start real, off really great. Did you sense something special with this group when you guys first got into the community? Um, I don't know. I just really jumped in and started making a relationship with all the girls. Well, both you and your dad were part of that Martin's Mill team that went all the way to the state championship game. Uh, what was that whole experience like to play for that Texas powerhouse? It was really a different experience. Um, whenever I went to the school, they're all about basketball, and that's all they know there. And so it was a really good experience having that environment and having a bunch of the girls on the team that already had the experience of going there to state. We'll talk a little bit about some of the stars on your team and some of the girls you enjoy going to battle with there at Newcastle. Um, one of the girls that I really love playing with is Maya. She's really good down low, and she can also shoot it from outside. She has a great attitude and is always lifting everyone else up, so she's really fun to play with. Well, your stats are unbelievable. They're right up there with some of the best in the state. 22 points a game, six rebounds, uh, three assists, and five steals a game. I know you take a lot of pride in your defense as well. And at 5'10", you're that rare player that can play anywhere. You can play guard. You can play in the post. Um, how much do you enjoy that versatility, and does it really make you dangerous out there? I really like posting people up. <laughs> I like going down low and finishing inside, and it really helps because sometimes their bigger defenders have to guard me, and so that's when I can shoot from outside as well. So you like that physicality in there, right? Just pushing people around. It makes you feel like you're really playing. Yes. <laughs> well, we hear you put in the extra work just to get that advantage on everybody else. Why is there such a drive to be so competitive and so good? 
I think I've always just been really competitive and want to be the best that I can be. So I think I've really pushed myself to like be better all the time and put in the extra work so I can be one of the better players. Well, you are a dollar and you have a million dollar smile. Uh, we hear you never have a bad day. Is that true? You're always smiling. Well, you even got a smile in the bad days. Obviously, I have some bad days, but. <laughs> well, I know you haven't had too many bad days this year. You guys only have one loss at 28 and one as we're taping this right now. You know, your district looks like, you know, the, the collection of six man powerhouses when you really think about it in football with Throckmorton and Gorman. Do you think it's made your girls uh, battle tested and ready for a really long journey in the playoffs because your district has been so tough? I definitely think so. We learn to push through um, those hard games. Even whenever we get down, we know how to persevere through them. Well, little kids in the community, they adore you. Uh, they want to be like you. They want to grow up and play basketball like you. What does that mean to you? And why do you love giving back to those kids? It means so much after the games when they come up and talk to me or give me hugs. I know that I'm doing it for more than myself and that they always look up to me. So I need to be at my best and always be a good example for them. Well, we know your mom is really the brains of the family. I mean, let's be honest. She's the science teacher. She also was a great athlete at St. Angelo Central where she played softball. What are the biggest lessons you've learned from your mom about being the girl that you are today? I think she's really helped me to grow my character. And she always, like, pushes me to be my best in school and on the court. Even though she's not my coach, sometimes she thinks she is. And always says something to make me better. So she's really encouraging to me. Well, I know you have a posse of grandparents and the grandparents from your father's side, they never miss a game. How much do you enjoy putting on a show for them when you see them up in the stands rooting for you? I love whenever we're warming up and I see them come in the game. They're always my biggest supporters and they love being there for me. <laughs> I'm sure your dad's told you a little bit about the glory days. We actually found a black and white photo that looked like he actually played at Graham in 1996 and went all the way to the state championship game. What do you hear about his days as a basketball player? Because uh, he was the man back in the day uh, in the nineties. Everyone says that he was a really good player and I just wish that I could see him play like he used to. <laughs> So at what age were you able to overtake him and beat him on the basketball court? I don't know. <laughs> he can probably still beat me. Well, you have a very interesting family. You have four siblings and they're all brothers. Do you think because of that, you have this just incredible competitive spirit in everything that you do? Definitely. Me and one of my older brothers, Lane, me and him have always been really competitive and we'd always go shoot at the gym together and play games. So I think he's also helped me to want to be better than him. What's interesting about Lane is you and Lane played on a mixed doubles team that made it all the way to the regionals in tennis. And the tennis coach came up with the idea of putting you two together, but you actually did not want to play together, did you? I wanted to play with him. I was talking, trying to talk him into it since my freshman year, and he did not want to play with me at all. But I think he enjoyed it once we actually started playing. What's up with that? How did you weather through all the fighting and uh, bickering to actually be a very competitive and, and a cohesive team to make it all the way to the regionals in tennis? Well, he's one of my best friends, and I think since our coach is the one that put us together, he knew like it wasn't my idea, so he became okay with it. And we actually played really good together on the court. Well, it's fun to see. And, you know, there's so much love in your family. I think about, you know, the five siblings. And then your parents have also had so much love in the community, taking on so many foster kids, four to five, um, over the years. Uh, what's that whole dynamic like? What's it like at home for you guys, having so many kids around? I think I'm always used to it. Once some of my brothers went off to college, like there was just more in the house. I love loving on all of them and really being a good example for them. That is awesome. Well, I know you also excel in the classroom extremely well. You're very competitive in the UIL academic scene as well as the FFA. Why is the classroom so important to you? 
like I said, I'm just really, I hold myself to a really high standard. So I know like I'm going to try to do my best on all that I can do. And sometimes I get really upset when I feel like I don't perform to my best. So it just makes me want to do better next time. Well, I've seen a lot of your videos and pictures of you on the basketball court. And I notice that whenever you're out there, the tongue comes out. Are you the Michael Jordan of Newcastle? I mean, what is going on with that? I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ever afraid of like a fly or something coming in there, you know, because I know it's coming out when you're going to dunk the basketball. <laughs> well, I don't really think about it. Half the time I don't notice it's out until I see pictures of myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, we heard a rumor that you're a really good singer. And, uh, you know, only the shower knows right now. So for your admiring <laughs> public, they wanted to know if you could just sing a couple bars of something. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> it's just too darn early, right? <laughs> well, you've only been in the Newcastle community for a year. Um, how would you describe that community? It's so small and so tight knit and there's so much love there. How would you explain it to maybe one of the big metroplexes around the state of Texas? I think we're all just like a big family. You look up into the stands and you really know like everybody there and you go up to talk to your family after and everyone stops you and tells you good game. And it's just a big support system. Well, thanks for the holler, Miss Dollar. Congratulations on being the class 1A Greater Texas Ford Dealers Female Athlete of the Month. Thank you. Your Greater Texas Ford Dealers is so proud to recognize the hard work, dedication, perseverance, and passion of so many Texas high school female athletes who inspire us all. Here's this month's winners. And don't forget, you can see their interviews at Greater TX Ford for Greater Texas Ford Dealers. From class 1A to 6A, plus private schools, we celebrate them all. Thanks so much for watching the Greater Texas Ford Dealers inaugural Female Athlete of the Month. See you next time.